Hi guys, so for this video, I'm sharing with you my top five secret beauty hacks. My mornings are pretty crazy. I'm time poor. Rocco needs his breakfast, needs to go to school, the dogs need to be walked, I need to get everyone dressed, including myself. I don't have much time to spend in the bathroom doing this amazing hair, makeup, beauty routine. I wish I did, but I don't. But for the last few years, I've come up with some really good time-saving beauty hacks which have saved me so much time, energy, and even a little bit of money, and I'm going to share with them with you right now. So the first thing I do is before I go to bed at night, after I've cleaned my face, is I put a little bit of fake tan on my face. Now, I do tan quite easily, but not on my face. Um, my face, I also want to keep out of the sun because I'm terrified of how much damage I've done to my skin. But I don't want to look washed out, pale and gaunt, particularly under the eyes. So a tiny bit of fake tan on the face um, at night time means that when I wake up in the morning, I look a lot more human and healthy. Now, at the moment, because it's winter, I don't want to look too dark or even risk looking orange. And at the moment, I'm using Dove Summer Glow Gradual Self Tan Body Lotion. And I'm putting it on my face and my decolletage, my arms, and anywhere else that I'm sort of exposing flesh. And it really does make me look that much healthier. The second thing that I do is I use a glyconic scrub. And this is a percentage level of 14, which... And this one isn't actually supposed to be for the face, but I do use it on my face, so that may be really bad. But whenever I do this at night time, the next day or even a few days after, often people will ask me if I've recently had a facial. I guess because the glycolic acid scrub is supposed to be for the body and not the face, it's pretty strong. And it really does get into my pores and give it a really good deep cleanse and just gives it this like fresh invigorating look. I don't have time to go and get a facial you know, every week or every fortnight or every month. I would love to, and also facials can be incredibly expensive. So just doing this maybe once every couple of weeks saves me money, but it also leaves my skin looking really fresh and dewy. Third thing that I do is actually for my hair. Now I have dead straight, really fine hair. And because of that, it often looks like it needs to be brushed like every five minutes. Now, I've always been really dubious and cynical of those ceramic brushes until I actually tried one myself. Now, I'm actually using the Vanity Planet ceramic brush, and now this goes up to 370 degrees, and it heats up really quickly, so that's great for when I'm in a hurry. Now, all I do is just simply brush my dry hair all the way around, and it leaves my hair looking really shiny, and it actually means that because it's actually a brush instead of those tongs, it stops that sort of really flat, um, straight look that can make my face look like a moon. It actually, because of its brush, it actually means that my hair has a lot of bounce and volume still, which I love. And being a ceramic brush rather than tongs, it doesn't damage my hair. The fourth thing that I do is for my nails, my hands and my toes. Now on my hands, I get SNS and on my toes, I just get a basic file and polish. But what I try and do is use a natural color. This means that it will last a lot longer. I get more mileage out of my color. You, when it starts to grow, it's not quite as obvious and you can get away for, with that growth for a little bit longer than what you would do with a really bright red or purple or brown or black. And then when that growth is just a little bit too tragic, I get it taken off and I give my nails about 10 days just to breathe and be natural again and recuperate from any damage that's been done by the polish. And then my fifth beauty hack secret is actually double cleaning. I wash my face in the shower, but often when I get out, I swear it doesn't look clean enough and I've actually proven myself correct. So what I do is I use a micellar water and this one is the Akin Australian Natural Skin Care range, which smells really nice and is really refreshing to the skin. I just get a, a wipe, dab it on and it's amazing how much dirt makeup and just grime still comes off your face after the shower but i do this every night so when, when i do go to sleep i know i've got a really clean face and obviously i use this before i put the self tan on now as always i love hearing your feedback if you have any secret beauty hacks that you would love to share with me and the other viewers and subscribers please put the comments in the box below and of course, I promise to put in the description box below links to all the products that I use, including the Vanity Planet ceramic brush, which I think is called Flow. In the meantime, I hope that you're having a great week and I will see you next week for Money Monday.